We're coming from the south up Tanglewood Creek Trail. We're going to head over the pass by Rosalie Peak, which is like 13,400 feet or something. And then uh, continue past that and drop back down onto Bear Track Lakes from the other side and see if we can get there. Definitely one of the uh, better trails as far as scenic beauty and shaded travel for this part anyway. It's gonna get pretty uh, exposed and uh, steep pretty soon here. But anyway, it's nice right now. I think we're about half a mile from the ish from the top of the saddle and then another couple miles after that to bear track lakes but yeah so we're just stopping for a minute there's katie stretching <laughs> brutal. yeah it is brutal <laughs> yeah this trail is just like nothing but straight up elevation gang and, and switchbacks it doesn't go down it just goes up intermittent ice paths yeah but I'm also bringing out the new granite gear pack. It's a 58 liter. I got the Goal Zero set up for the walk, charging up our headlamp batteries since we forgot to buy them. Um, and this is my little top pouch here that I made. I'm pretty stoked on it. My toilet paper. It's awesome. Anyway. Oh, I just wrecked my GPS. I'm gonna do that. But yeah, anyway. We got some weather coming in. Oh yeah, we got the weather coming in for the pass, so that'll be fun. Hopefully we don't get electrocuted. Anyway, we will uh we will see you on the other side. We are about to enter the beginnings of the Alpine just below uh, where the tree line ends, so it's where the trees start to get small and well, you'll know it when you see it. Pretty much here at the saddle. Well, we are here at the saddle. It's like 20 feet in front of me. Um, it's just over 12,000 feet. Uh, Rosalie Peak is uh, just up over here this way. But here, let's go ahead and cross over. The first 
lakes you come to are the Roosevelt Lakes on this trail. And those are just right here. If you can kind of see them over there. Now we've been to this one before. Uh, it's one of our first trips out here. And uh, it's a really nice lake. It's good fishing. But um, it's really a brutal hike up the last part of that. It's just constant elevation gain forever. So here's a better view of Roosevelt Lakes. You can see the uh, little bit of ice still there in the center. And it's raining, you can see some of the drops. I think up here, either that's Rosalie Peak or the one before. Um, but it's really nice here. Uh, there's a really cool, actually, campsite right up. You can see there's a marmot up there being all angry, a couple of them. And uh, behind that rock there is a really, really nice campsite uh, out of the wind and everything. But we're gonna continue on. We gotta cross this and come up around that finger there and go around on the other side. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> we stopped shy of the lake again because of this. The storm's kind of putting a damper on our plans and I'm beat anyway. So we're just kind of going to make do. And these little spots here on the hillside use snow for water and head back out tomorrow. But everything got a bit wet when I was setting up, so letting it dry out a bit, hopefully enough. So anyway, we'll uh, we'll talk to you after we start getting some some uh, whatever it's called stuff melted, and hopefully not struck by lightning. We survived. I'm just getting my stuff packed up. Katie's still sleeping. Um, there's not really much in the way of water here except for the snow, which is kind of a pain. So I'm considering hiking back up to Roosevelt Lakes for water and then doing breakfast up there. We will see what happens when Katie gets up. And yeah. We are about to head out to the lake have some breakfast and some water. There's Katie coming down the snow slope.